Hi friends, welcome to my channel Network Techie. In this session, we will be talking about RIP summarization. Uh, before proceeding with the RIP summarization, we need to configure these two routers R1 and R2 uh, with these uh, loopbacks. Uh, you can see R1 loopbacks down under router 1 and uh, loopbacks down to the router 2. And the configuration is already done in the notepad, uh, both the, the loopbacks as well as the RIP configuration. I just need to copy paste. If you need this configuration, you can check under description of this video. This configuration is provided over there. I have copied R1 configuration. In the router 1 configuration mode, I am pasting this configuration. And uh, now I am doing the router 2 configuration. Going to router 2 config mode, pasted the config there. In the router 1 privilege mode, I am doing show IP route trip. So I have got 85, 86, 87, 88, these four subnets. And I have got uh, 141, 142, 143, 144, these subnets. On router 2, we have got uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, these four subnets. 48, 49, 50, these three subnets and uh, 210, 211, these four subnets. So all the subnets have been received on both the routers. Now let's talk about the summarization. There are two ways to do the summarization. I will tell you the both the ways and I need a new notepad. So let's talk about the first uh, summarization of this uh, block 10, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you can see uh, the first and second octet are the same. The third octet is the changing octet, which is called the interesting octet. Okay, interesting octet in which the values are changing. So uh, what we need to find out is how many subnets are they? Subnets that we need to subnets we need to summarize are four. And uh, what magic numbers do we have uh, to summarize these subnets? We have got zero, one, two, four, eight, sixteen. 32, 64, and 128. These subnet values, these magic numbers we have got. So if we use magic number 4, and we have 4 subnets to summarize, we can uh, fit all these 4 subnets using magic number 4. So the first network ID is going to be 10100, will be the next network ID, 8, 12, 16. So we need to move 4 by 4 in the third octet until we get 10, 1, 2, 56, dot 0, which is the last octet. Okay, and this is our first octet. So we have got 4, 5, 6, 7, right? So if I use 10, 1, 0, 0 network ID, we get One dot one, two dot two, three dot three. These four subnets with slash twenty four, we can. It comes under this block. And in the next one, what do we get? Then one five, six, seven. Right, and all these are slash twenty four. So if we use 10140 and uh, we minus 256, the magic number, we get 252. Okay. So the magic, the subnet mask will be, uh, the statement will be IP, summary, address, RIP, 
4.0 and the subnet mask is going to be 256 minus 4, 252.0. So if we put this summary statement under the interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 of R1, this these four subnets can be summarized. Okay. So I am cutting this from here and pasting this down there. Coming, we are going to summarize the next block 48, 49, 50. Okay, so interesting octet is third. We have got three subnets. If we use magic number four, we can summarize them. So I told you the first method, which is we need to move uh, with the magic number uh, up till the time we get our network ID. So in this case, we need to use magic number four and we need to keep moving with the value four by four in the third octet until we get, uh, until all these subnets uh, can be uh, included in network ID. So the next method is, which is easy method, in the interesting octet, find a minimum value, which is 48 and the maximum value is 40, 50. Pick any one of these. I'm picking the minimum value 48, divide it with magic number four. What do you get? 12. Now what the, the result which you get, multiply this back with the magic number 12 into 4, what do we get? 48. So we know that network ID is going to be 10, 5, 48 or 0, first network ID, next and next. So we will be moving like this, 48, 52 and 56 and 60. So our subnets are 48 dot 0, 49 and 50. Well, we do have 51 as well in this subnet, but since we don't have uh, to summarize 51, but still I'm mentioning there. So 21, this is also slash 24, slash 24. So if we use 48.0 and the subnet mask will be 252 because we need to minus uh, four magic number from 256, then we get 252, okay? And 52.0 is the next block network ID. Like this, 250, 10, 556 is the next block network ID. 10, 560 is the net, next block network ID. We get uh, four subnets under this, four subnets under this, and four subnets under this network ID. So the summary address for this network block is going to be IP summary address rip 10.5.48.0. 255, 255, 252, my dot zero, and that's it. Let's talk about next block, this one, 210. Let's use the easy way again. Divide 210 with the magic number 8, because uh, 4 cannot be used as we have got 5 subnets in this. So divide 210, minimum value of interesting octet with the magic number 8. What do we get? 626. Forget about the uh, value after, 20, after the point, after the dot. Use 26, multiply with the magic number. What do we get? 208. So the first block is going to be 1050208.0. Next network ID is going to be 216. This one is 216, 224. Next is going to be 232. We are uh, we are interested about this network ID. So we can include 210, 211, 212, all these slash 24 subnets can be uh, all these 24 subnets can be summarized using this network ID. So we used 8 magic number in this case. Then Let's find out the subnet mask. We need to minus magic number 8 from the 256 and we get 248, right? So let's come down and use IP summary address rip 1050208.0 and subnet mask 248.0. So that's the summary address of our third network block. Let's talk about this, 85, 86, 87, 88, we have got four subnets and if we use four network, 
four magic number we might fit these four subnets let's divide the minimum value 85 with the magic number 4 we get 21 21 multiply again with the magic number 84 so we get 10 80 84 dot 0 network id the next network id will be in the third octet we need to change with the value with the increment of 4 84 88 92 so this uh, magic number 4 we cannot use because 88.0 is not included in this network id it's the next block network id so forget about magic number 4 let's use magic number 8 and divide and start the process again multiply 85 with the magic number 8 we get 10 and multiply 10 with the magic number 8 we get 80 so this we cannot use as well because the first network id is 8t when we use magic number 8 the first one is 80 next will be 88 so 88 is still not included in this network id because it's in the next block network id and if what if we use magic number 16 what happens now so multiply i'm sorry 85 divided by 16 we get 5 now multiply 5 with the magic number we get 80 yes so 10 80 and uh, 80 dot 0 next is going to be 96 so this one looks better so if we use magic number 16 yes we can summarize so we need to use network id 108080 and the subnet mask is going to be 16 uh, 256 minus magic number 16 we get 240.0 so let me mention the summary address command ip summary address rep 10.80.80.0 and the, for the next block I am directly going to mention the statement you need to find out how I did it 141 uh, 4 um, multiply 4 multiply by network id 128 so you need to find out uh, why we cannot use 4, 8, 16 in this case. Okay, so that is going to be the last, the address for the last block. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open my routers and on the router 1, I'm Doing, I'm going to config mode. I am copying all the summary statements all together. Where is our third summary address which we need to configure uh, on the R1? So these are the three summary statements that needs to go on the R1 interface ethernet 0 slash 0 so all three commands are pasted now let's go to router 2 configuration that's the summary address first summary statement so and that's the second summary statement copy them go to router 2 it needs to be configured under ethernet interface 0 slash 0 paste them now come to routers privilege mode over here i'm going to do show ip route rip and on r2 show ip route rip so we should be getting 4.0 slash 21 excuse me 
dot zero slash twenty two, and uh, this slash twenty two, and this one should be there uh, two zero eight slash twenty one. So, but we do have uh, slash twenty four subnets as well. Why? Because uh, if you look at the timer, uh, this the last update which we received uh, was twenty two seconds ago for the summarized subnets. But for the slash twenty four, the updates are quite old, uh, fifty seconds, fifty seven seconds, and they need to be there for two forty seconds uh, before they will. Uh, disappear from the routing table. Uh, if we do swipe it out rape again, you can see the timer has hit one minute forty seven seconds. So if you do not want to wait until two forty seconds, what we can do is clear IP route star on R two and clear IP route star on R one. If you need uh, more information about these timers, you can uh, see my video on the RIP theory. Okay, now I'm going to do show IP route RIP. We have got two uh, summarized statements for this block and 128.0/19 for this block. And uh, if I ping any subnets which are behind the router 2, then 120.141.1. And the last one is 144.1. We have got connectivity from R1. And on R2, how many subnets do we have? Summarized subnets: three, 4.0, 48.0, and 208. Right. So if we check the connectivity for 1052.1.0.1 for the first subnet. And the last sub is 1052.1.4. So we do have connectivity. Everything looks perfect. Uh, I hope uh, you like this video, guys, and uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, do share your feedback if you like this video. And uh, have a good day.